Hi everyone, I'm back for part two. Now I did record 12 minutes something on the last video and it only uploaded four something, so I don't know what happened there. But I was talking about the, <coughs> excuse me, the glitter pens that I bought at Samuel Taylor's. Um, and that's what I'd used for the writing. Um, I stained, in the walnut stain, these um, alphabet letters. Uh, and then went over it using the glitter pens in different colours. So I wanted a bit of colour on the front of my book, uh, the wooden book. So now you want to see inside. And there you go. I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to tighten those up a little bit. Because I didn't have long enough... Um, pins to go in here and I don't know why I thought these were long enough but they weren't obviously that should be better so what I've done is I'm just going to run through this with you now with mine I'm doing it a little bit clearer not really <coughs> excuse me what I've done with mine is I've put in each compartment all the things I've been saving either things I've made or things that I like the most and um, like I've only one bird cage and I pop that in here um, with um, these tickets that I love this one's Giggle and this one's Dream and I've altered those just stain them with the Tim Holt stain and um, this was um, a charm that I absolutely adore I love it, it's like a mask, you know, for a masquerade a party thing my favourite, one of my favourite buttons this was a big white glass bead that I stained with uh, alcohol inks just to see what happened to it and it made that gorgeous, gorgeous pattern on it when I used several colours and I wanted to keep it so I've kept hold of it I absolutely love the charms the um, Chinese money and just under there you can just see the temple I love these um, and this is Terry Berry who gave me this one and if you're watching Terry hi because I've not spoke to you for ages I'll have to email you and I do have a parcel for you and uh, Cassie um, so, and this is a heart with a pink diamond that I love um, I, I love the oriental themes and so I ended up with the dragon I've put the dragon in and the shield with the fleur de Leon. it's like a um, family crest thing not mine I'm just saying it. it's a family crest shield type of thing these bottles what I did with mine um, was to stain them using um, alcohol ink and then I've just glued the top of them with um, glossy accents just to f f seal them I love this little swirly charm and I've been keeping hold of it so I, I've uh, popped that in there I love the dew drops with the pictures in and uh, I love this sun charm this one says courageous I love this type of locket it's my favourite one that one and my favourite key and it's a black key and that always reminds me of the keys we used to have for the old house when we were growing up you know when we were kids and that's what our keys were like real big keys I love the music notes I've put those in I also use the alcohol inks on one of these uh, plastic hearts to see what happened to it and I mean the colours in that and I'm not, not sure if you can see it a fantastic look love the fob again that was from Terry Berry the fob watch this is a metal um, button flower button this charm says thrive and um, I have got the corners on four metal corners um, and like I say I didn't have the squares to go on inside so what I did I made my own and each one of these squares has got a butterfly on I'm not sure if you can see I know that the, the items are hiding them but I've edged it all in gold and um, it's not quite finished I've still got a few more bits to do um, I still want to get the back done 
put some more stamping on there and then go over it again with the varnish to protect it and uh, that's my take um, hmm. and, oh, I wish to God I could get this clear it's so frustrating that's the clearest I can get it I think but it just it it reminds me of um, a window into what you like and these are all my favorite things that I've collected over time some from various people some that I've bought myself and uh, I just love them I absolutely love these bottles I do have some more left but um, it, I didn't know what to do with them I had ideas but uh, I do like the way they sit in here perfectly and and this butterfly was what somebody sent me and I, I'm really really sorry if you're watching I can't remember until I look back on the videos but if um, you couldn't get it to stick you, and you said can I do something with it well yes I absolutely adore that and I've put that in here and stuck it in the middle and um, it's uh, brilliant and then on the side here I've put my name Fiona um, I was going to put it in here. Well, I will do it. I'll put it in here. I might, I might put the date in here, actually. Um, yeah, I'll put the date in there. And, uh, like I say, finish it off. There's a few more stamping bits that I want to do on the back. Um, I could have put, um, you know, the handle on and that like Rachel did, but I didn't want to copy her completely. I just wanted her... I pinched some of her ideas and uh, I've, had, I've had these box, uh, oh, boxes a long time if I, th I think if I remember rightly they had um, what they, they had snowflakes in they were from Christmas last year and each compartment had different sized snowflakes in and d uh, there were silver and gold ones and I've still got them but this is where the boxes came from and they were selling them off I think 50 pence each in the sale in January so I thought oh I'll have them the boxes will come in handy for something and I never used them and that's why I sent a couple to Rachel to uh, give her a challenge and you've got to say <laughs> she did a marvellous job a really fantastic job and um, I'm absolutely thrilled with what I've managed to do with mine because I was inspired by Rachel so thank you so much my friend and uh, we're going shopping shortly her and the her and I <laughs> could be lethal combination that but I'm going to take her to Samuel Taylor's the range and Rachel you get the Mariposa paper at the range I've just been watching your video from Arlene um, they have it in all sizes it is expensive but it would be for this country but you'll find a lot of nice papers there and things like that so uh, and I think we're going Hobbycraft as well Hey, that's going to be one hell of a day. I hope you take your pack up. <laughs> I'm only kidding. But I'm sure we'll have lots of fun. So like I say, Rachel, thank you, thank you, thank you for the inspiration. Um, and I'm thrilled with what I've managed to do and achieve myself. Um, I am. I'm absolutely thrilled with it. I'm going to have to somehow get those hinges fixed a bit. Uh, oh, we're not doing it now so um, there you go that's mine I hope you like it and thanks for watching bye